continues. Welcome back. We're now joined by Stuart Hodnett and Tom McCandlish to talk about the Celtic Fest. So what's going on this weekend? I know it's pretty exciting. Well, this is the 15th uh, annual Northeast Louisiana Celtic Festival. Uh, it starts at 10 a.m. Saturday morning at Caroli Park and finishes up uh, well after dark uh, with a movie that I'm going to let uh, Stuart tell you about in a minute. But uh, lots of great uh, Irish and Scottish uh, folk music, lots of great food, uh, lots of great Irish dancing. We have uh, some championship uh, uh, dancers coming from New Orleans in the, in the, in the form of Mugabin uh, School of Irish Dance. Wait, explain that. What is that? Hmm. Uh, if, have you seen the, the, the young ladies that have the really ornate costumes and the, the big curly wigs yeah. and do the, the step dancing? That's what they do. Oh, okay. It's very precise. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a derivation of traditional Irish step dancing, but it's very stylized and now and, and they, it, they, they do a lot of comp competing uh, in that uh, arena. And they, they, they're fresh off winning several medals. Uh, at some at some contests, but uh, we also uh, partner with St. Baldrick's, uh, which is a, a fundraising uh, mechanism for Ch uh, St. Jude's Children's Cancer Research, Research Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, this is their, I believe, their third year to come, and they do their annual Brave the Shave event uh, at our event. Mm -hmm. So their 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 uh, little icon or their their logo is a little leprechaun that's bald oh, yeah. <laughs> and has lost his hat. So you've seen that before. Uh, so we have lots of great musicians, uh, lots of great dancing, lots of great food. It's just it's a grand day. You know how pastoral the setting is at Curly Park. It's beautiful. It's great. It's it's a grand uh, it's a grand jewel in the in the crown of West Monroe for sure. And this year we have added uh, um, uh, a viewing. Stuart has done uh, some uh, an outdoor movie a couple of years in a row for Washtaw's fundraiser for Washtaw Green. Stuart's the uh, uh, coordinator for Washtaw Green, so I'm going to let him tell you a little bit more about what they're going to do with that in the evening. Okay, yeah, awesome. well, thank you, Tom. Appreciate that. So we, we uh, in Celtic Fest with uh, Washtaw Green has a movie called Brave, animated movie. Uh, it's festivities start at five. Uh, the movie starts properly at 7.30, 7.45, depending on when it gets dark. We'll have food vendors. Some of the food vendors will come over mm -hmm. from, uh, from Celtic Fest. We'll be selling cotton candy, corn dogs, uh, tea and water, um, uh, popcorn, movie candy uh, will be sold, served. So different glow-in-the-dark uh, necklaces, we're going to uh, sell those or give those away. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, ch children 10 and under are free. And uh, just come on out. Uh, all benefits go toward Washtaw Greens. It's an annual fundraiser. So. And so what was the inspiration behind Brave? Well, uh, just uh, being being brave, I guess. It's, I mean, a, it's being, a Celtic thing. It's, it's a Celtic thing with Celtic oh, okay. fans. Right. That's it's, why. it's like set in Scotland and, and the, the, the heroine in it is a big shock of flaming red hair. Yeah. Uh, but what I forgot to mention is there is a, there is a bump in the, in the uh, uh, park admission. Uh, for Caroli this year, for this for this day only, it's five dollars a head to get in, mm -hmm. and as Stuart mentioned, it's ten dollar. Uh, children ten and under are free, uh, right. so that they get to come to the movie in the evening, and after the festival is wound down, uh, then everybody can just go over and enjoy a good movie and sit in the dark and. Uh, Hopefully it doesn't rain. Yeah. yeah. Jared, so can you fix that for us? <laughs> you can't control the rain. You can right. forecast it. <laughs> so the main character is Merida, mm -hmm. the redhead. We're going to have her there. Uh, as, uh, we're gonna take, you can take pictures with her. Okay. So out by the pond, uh, by the amputator. So come on out at 5 o'clock and um, take a picture with Merida. And we'll be glad to see you then. And we'll start, start about 7.30. Okay. Well, sounds like a great event. Yeah. Um, and that's at the amphitheater at Crowley Park. Um, how many years have you all done this again? You've done this? Celtic Fest is in its 15th year. And the, the body of Celtic Fest takes up the whole of Crowley Park. Yeah. Uh, the amphitheater is over on the left. Uh, down by the pond, uh, and it has it's it's where they do ballet under the stars. Okay. Uh, so it, it's it's suited for having the big screen and the seating up the thing up nice. the uh, up the hill uh, for for viewing a movie movie at night, okay. uh, and it just lends itself well to that. Awesome. Well, thank you for being thank here. You. Up next, we're talking the Little Black Dress Project, holistic vibes, and anytime fitness. Stay with us.